Hello, so I'll here with a new video tutorial. In this video, we are going to work with Ansible for automating some, some provisioning tasks with, uh, with Tel and C Power Max. First of all, what is Ansible? Ansible is an open source software provisioning, configuration management, and application deployment tool. It includes its own declarative language to describe system configuration in YAML, yet another markup language. Ansible can be used to automate the configuration of a wide range of systems. This is done via playbooks. But what are playbooks? Playbooks are YAML files that express configuration, deployment, and orchestration in Ansible and allow Ansible to perform operations on managed nodes. Talking about the components of Ansible, uh, what is a module? A module is basically a Python script that called by Ansible and a collection vendor or task-specific models distributed via Ansible Galaxy. This is the Ansible App Store as collections. So let me show you what I mean when I mention the Ansible Galaxy. So I'm switching back to the laboratory and open Royalty S. Our Ansible instance is running under CentOS machine. This is a Linux machine, uh, which is running right here. Let me open it with double click. And let me show you here. Let's move to Ansible folder and show you the path. All right. So these are the other uh, files that we are going to work today: the provisioning and the provisioning file. The .yml extension yml uh, means that they are for YAML. And let me show you the Galaxy Ansible Galaxy collection. Uh, this is with the command ansible dash galaxy collection list. All right, so here you can see that uh, many vendors provide their ansible collections, so the end users, engineers, and developers can create their own automations and deployments. So here you can see that we have a model from NetApp. Also, here we have from OpenStack, ServiceNow, uh, and here we have the, uh, the Dell EMC collection. Also, we have several more, uh, more collections from different vendors as Azure, Cisco, and AWS. Just scroll down, scroll up a little bit here. There you go. So under these collections, this co uh, these collections are composed from several models. I am going to show you here the models with the next command. Ansible dash doc and we are going to grab just for the power max uh, something wrong let me check that I'm missing one flag all right so now with the grab we are looking for uh, the models that include the PowerMax keyword, and here we can see it. So these models, uh, as, he, as we can see it here, here we have the host model, host group, information, initiator, job, masking view, port, etc., etc. So all these models uh, compose uh, the main collection for DLMC.PowerMax. And let's take a look into one model. Uh, for example, let's take a look on the volume model. We can achieve it with the uh, next command, ansible dash doc dlemc.powermax dot volume. I apologize, my type of error. All right, so this is the documentation of this model, this specific model. And here we can see that uh, different variables were for creating a new volume. Uh, here you can see that uh, overall information that this model is for managing the volumes on PowerMax storage system. Uh, here we have the different options available. Here we have the capacity unit, uh, the new name of the volume in case you are going to perform a, a renaming the new storage group, uh, the mandatory password, 
here as you can see it with the equal sign um, this means that this is a mandatory variable also the serial number of the array the storage group the size the status so if i keep uh, hitting enter we can see uh, many many options for that involves the uh, the volume ansible collection so uh, i'm just quitting all right So for the for this very first lesson, we are going to provision a new a new storage group. Its name is going to be Ansible. And let me show you how is it going to be achieved. Let me list again uh, the available files. So today we are going to take a look with the provisioning.yml. So I am going to show you here with the opening the file with a cat. All right. I just scroll up, and here we can see overall information that this this playbook is for provisioning storage for PowerMax, and it's gathering information from variable files, the file get and and the file unique connection bars. Here we can see it. Here we have the unique connection bars and the get password located in the same directory. And here we have a lot of information. The storage group name is going to be, as I mentioned before, Ansible SG1. And uh, the capacity unit of this storage group is going to be measured uh, with gigabyte. And we are going to provision um, one, uh, one volume of two gigabyte. We are going to see it in the next minutes. And here you can see the tasks that are going to be that is going to be executed. So I am going to scroll down slowly, so you can see it and pause it if required. Uh, sorry about that. So here we have the very first uh, task. We have the create a storage group. So this is for creating the storage group. And as you can see it here, um, located uh, with the double uh, curly bracket. Here we have also the variables that was that were uh, declarated on the above section here we can see it we have the SG name and if I move up to the top here I can see the SG name is going to be Ansible SG1 okay so the next task that is going to be performed is create a volume create a host now create a host group create a port group create a masking view and we are done so here you can see that uh, we are managing this uh, this provisioning with pause so after every every task is done we are going to have a pause and hit enter to continue with the provisioning so as i mentioned before let me submit again the lsl uh, this this playbook this provisioning.yml playbook is referring to a couple of variable external files uh, the first one is the unique connection variables. So I am opening for you. So here we have more information about variables. Here we have the IP address of the units we host, the serial number of our array, the 0107, the one that we have been working in the last uh, lessons, the uni, uni version, and the verified cert as false. And let me show you the other uh, variable file, which is the get password. Alright, so here we can see it, uh, the password for the username SMC is SMC but uh, as you know this is kind of sensitive uh, because it's opening, it's open for everybody that has access to the server and is going to be able to see the credentials so Ansible has this really great tool for encrypting uh, these variable functions and variable um, files we can, we can encrypt it with the next command so let me show you here it's going to be Ansible Vault Encrypt Get Password YML All right, so once I hit enter, it's going to be encrypted with a, a special password So I need to provide a new Vault password and set it in here The new password here All right, here as you can see it Encryption is now successful. 
if I try to see the password again, I am going to see a hash in a, in a very large uh, characters string, which is the desired behavior when you encrypt something. Let me show you. All right, here we can see that the password has been encrypted and now it's secure for, for submitting the um, the action and the task for the provision into the uh, to the power max. In case you want to see the password unencrypted, you can do it by ansible view, sorry, ansible bold command. Then view and the name of the file. You only have to provide the, the password that you just configured. And here it is. Now we can see the file unencrypted. All right, before I proceed with the good execution of the of the playbook, I want to show you here uh, from the unit suite that there is no uh, storage group called Ansible one. I just click on it. It's taking some time. Storage group, no. Uh, here we can see there are 64 items. If I try to search for any particular one with Ansible, there should be none. All right, it's looking, it's looking good as expected. Okay, let's move back to the, to the Ansible instance and run it. How can we run it with the next command? Just a second, let me show my, uh, let me check my notes. Uh, the command is ansible-playbook the name of the playbook provision in dot yml dash dash ask dash bold dash pass this is for getting the information from the vault that we just set the password and dash dash sorry dash bb for very verbose so we can see the output running in real time so we are going to see more information on the output let's hit enter let's insert the password that we just configured and here we can see the the provisioning is in progress so here we can see the the name of the playbook which is provisioning.yml and the task that is running right now is create a storage group so here we can see the variables the variables that were in that particular uh, playbook and in a second we are going to see that it's done all right so here we can see that uh, the, the automation has paused this means that the previous tasks are done uh, the task for creating volume and the task for create a storage group all right so let's move here I am going to refresh it just moving one uh, one different option down below here moving up to the storage group again all right it's looking good look at this here we have 65 items so here we have our new storage group called ansible sg1 if i click on it for more information here we are going to see the volume information and it's a uh, one gigabyte it's a one gigabyte um, uh, volume capacity. So if I move back to the to the Ansible playbook running, uh, where we can see that same information around here, here in the uh, in the in the variables. Here we are going to we are supposed to see the same. Just give me a second. Yep, here it is. It here is the name of the of the storage group, and here we can see the, uh, the task for creating a volume. All right, let's move on. Let's move on to the next task. Hit enter, and here we can see that the next task is is called creating a host. So it will create a host, and also we will be creating a masking view. So first of all, we are going to create a couple of hosts, then to create a host, a host group. You can see it here, Ansible host one and Ansible host two. They are going to be part of Ansible host group, host group. 
So uh, the automation is paused. Uh, this means that uh, this task is done. Now let's click on, let's hit enter. All right, now the new task is creating a port group for Ansible PG1. It's done, let's hit enter again. And now it's creating a masking view. I am going to show you this, this provisioning uh, once it is done. All right, masking view is done. Hit enter and now here we can see that uh, the playbook is done. Let's move back to the units free. And let me show you again here on the storage group. I'm pre-selecting Ansible SG. And here we can see that there is one masking view. There is a, uh, the one volume of one gigabyte. And if I go to masking view, let me hit it. If I select the masking view, here we are going to see uh, the port information. I mean the port group information. Somehow it's loading more than usual. No, it took me to the old masking view path. Uh, my apologies, let's go back to the storage groups. Sorry, we can see that also from the masking view perspective. And here we have it. Ansible underscore MB underscore one. I'm not sure why it is taking longer in that view. But here we can see it. This, uh, this masking view is associating this storage group Ansible SG1 with port group Ansible PG1 with the host group Ansible host group 1. If I select it from here, let me see if does it take me. Yep. Here we can see uh, the host, the host group, and here we can see that it's associating a couple of hosts, Ansible host 1 and Ansible host 2. Yep, as expected. It's looking really great here. Now let's take a second. Uh, give me a second and let me show you how we can deprovision in this. So let me show you here with ls-l and here we have the other playbook for deprovisioning. So basically this, this playbook is going to deprovision this Ansible SG1 storage group. So let's run it, it's really easy. With next command, ansible dash playbook, the name of the playbook, the provisioning, dash dash ask, bold pass, uh, dash very verbose. Hit enter, the password of our bold. And here we can see that the very first task is deleting the masking view. It is done. So here we are, if I go to storage groups. And if I press select it, this is still showing it active here, but if I go to the masking views right here, just a second. Uh, the Ansible uh, masking view is gone. So if I try to search for it, it is gone. All right. Now if I continue this uh, this playbook, I'm going to hit enter. Now it's going to delete delete the storage group and the volumes, also the hosts. Let's wait a couple of seconds. And it is done. So here we can see that the Ansible storage group one is gone. Let me show you that here with, uh, from the units free. It is not here. So we have completed the, uh, the, the provisioning with, uh, with Ansible. Yep, it is gone. All right, this is how it works. 
automation with Ansible. Uh, before we end up this session, I want to show you uh, the playbook, the deprovisioning playbook, so you can pause it in any any line you may need in the future. So let me do it with the cat. All right. I scroll over than expected. Okay, this is the deprovisioning.yml file, the provisioning playbook. Here we can see the task for deleting the masking view. Then after the deleting the masking view comes the pause. And here we have the next uh, a task consecutive before the last pause. Deleting the status group, delete host group, delete board group. This is it. Thank you so much.